Okay, today we're uh, changing brakes on the Mustang. This is we're doing this on the 2001 GT, but uh, the procedure is real similar for just about any of the. I think it's 94 up to 2004. I haven't really worked on the newer ones yet, so I couldn't tell you there. But what you'll need a jack, of course, get the car off the ground. Jack stand, safety first, you know. Um, let's see, you need a ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, uh, some supplies, brake clean probably, brake lube. Uh, I also like to use. The CRC disc brake quiet, um, whatever you want to use though. But this fairly simple procedure: take your ratchet with your 12 millimeter socket, a bolt right there. There's a bolt up here. All you have to do is remove the lower one. Don't have to remove the upper one if you don't want to. Once you remove the bolt, which I've already done, caliper flips up. Now I, I have pressed back the pistons in the caliber already, so that's why it came up so easily. It, normally there would be some resistance, but right now pistons are pushed back. And to push those back, you need a C-clamp or some similar tool. Once you press pistons back, flip the caliber up, doesn't want to stay up. The pads basically just pull out. Yeah, this this is one of those times when it'd be great to have an assistant. But but anyways, yeah, the pads just pull out. These pads aren't so bad, but they are cracked. Got some cracking and whatnot going on here. Cheap uh, AutoZone brake pads. So I didn't buy them. They came on the car when I got them. So time for something better or at least I think, hope so uh, going with uh, whoop. didn't mean to zoom in there going with Bendix big fan of Bendix for many years Bendix ceramics the only problem is they're now made in China uh, they used to be made in the US I'm not digging the Chinese uh, Bendix brake pads here they are here just not they don't seem to have the same quality they used to back in the day inboard outboard pads are the same on the Mustang unlike many other cars that's the friction surface you got the back I already put the anti squeal stuff just you don't want to glob it all over generally I just use the the old brake pad you can see where it comes in contact with metal so kind of make uh, an outline like that this is where the two pistons come in contact. Bendix stuff does come with the new slides, and that's a bonus at least. So the slides are right here. They just pop off, pop the new ones on, throw some lube on there, and put everything back together. Now, driver side, passenger side, both the same procedure. And one thing you do want to remember is if you bolt everything together, pump the brakes a couple times before you back it out of the garage check your brake fluid because if you fail to do that you have no brakes at the beginning a lot of people panic just stomp on the pedal once and that's not going to stop you so pump up the brakes check the fluid and then uh, take it for a test drive alright like always any questions comments just leave them below until next time yes